There you are, Commander. Come now, let's see you look sharp. I'd like to begin the Council with a refresher of current events. I sent Sabine and Garu to you, Chris, to do some reconnaissance. Garu, if you would be so kind. <clears throat> Certainly. Oh, and uh, may I mention, it's not often I get to do recon with such a ravishing partner. So long as you don't mind me judging you for it. But dancing ain't my thing, so let me cut to the chase. Haishan is now completely under Imperial control. Oh, my poor people. Good tale, eh? I've got a third-class thing or three to say about that. Is that how all Gaudians think? I cannot deny some of our countrymen hold such ugly views. It is reprehensible, and I am truly sorry. You ain't the one who needs to apologize. Besides, I'm glad I got to hear it. It'll put a little more rage in my sword. So, how much should we worry that these lens wielders he's recruiting aren't getting a lucrative deal at all? We know Aldrich is trying to weaponize rune lenses and put them into more general use. The dragon we saw on the battlefield is a prime example. At the laboratory where we were held, he used... people to unlock the Primal Lens's power. He'll likely do the same to the other Landsbearers who come forward. The Jukes must be stopped before more innocent lives are lost. <sighs> A pretty thought, but considering the state of our army... The Empire has forged a formidable union with the Revenants and the Kinanis. In comparison, we are still licking our wounds from the last conflict. Some New Chrysians tried to resist the Imperial assault on Haishan, but they were completely overrun. And since fleeing Naristar, King Salus is nowhere to be found. We haven't been able to contact General Electra or Maxim either. Last we saw him, they were holding the rear as we pulled out of Athrobot. Aye. But you still have we tree folk and the Shi'arks, which. I admit, is likely not enough. Do we have any hope, any means at all, of defeating the Empire in direct conflict? <sighs> None, my lady. So there it is. No hope. <laughs> Dang it. We're just gonna give up, right? Laying down arms and surrendering is... Well, it's not the worst of our available options. In doing so, we might be able to save the lives of countless soldiers, our comrades and friends. 
What? No. We're not surrendering. No way. Not happening. Naturally, another option is to keep fighting. What say you, Commander Noah? I... Okay, back off, all of you! It's wrong to put all of this crap on Noah! It's completely unfair to ask him to decide what to do with that many people's lives! I mean, if it were me, I... I'd be shaking in my boots, all right? Heck, I'd probably collapse on the floor in a little ball of goo and start blubbering like a baby! It's okay, Leon. I appreciate you. I do. But this is a choice I have to make. Somehow. Somehow indeed. Fortunately, we've not received any reports of the Imperial Army marching this way. Why? I know not. Perhaps they don't realize we're here, or perhaps they're waiting for all of their forces to join up first. In any case, you at least have a little time to consider things. Though, the decision must be made. Can I ask you to pivot your resources and increase our supply of these materials here? Purpose being? It's to bolster the town's defenses. I've designed a few new measures that should give us a fighting chance. Hmm. Huh. Give an architect an inch, and she'll take a lead.
It's all very impressive. But what about this talk of surrender? You're asking for a lot of heavy lifting just to raise a white flag. We don't know what will happen yet, so we prepare. Does this really merit debate? What is this? I feel like I tripped and fell into an old memory. All right, all right, protest withdrawn. You just give me your list and on my guild's honor, I'll make sure we deliver. In a building mood, are we? Organizing the stockroom, Sumire. Eh? I sure am. Gotta have things ready to bust out in case Nola and everybody need to run off to war, you know? Bust out. Rummaging kills all the pre-battle momentum. I want to be like, boom, here you go, so they can be like, boom, here we go. Figured that's the best way for me to help. <laughs> well said, Sumire. Something tells me the student is starting to surpass the teacher. Yes? Ready to hustle! I'll try my best. Perfect. You caught me when I was warmed up. Let's continue the fight, Noah! Let's go! Oh, baby! Well then, I'll come along! Come back!
Karen, you know I would never put you in danger. But this is a battle we can't avoid. I know, Wyler. We'll stand tall together and help our friends. Thanks. I swear on this bow that no matter what comes our way, I'll see you and the whole Alliance through it. Destiny has knocked me to its bow, and I am ready to fly true. But will I find my mark? Right there. Damned thief! <laughs> you think you can catch the mighty Fay? Not a chance. Not even half a one. See ya, suckers! Except, I actually won't, because I'll be too far away! <laughs> <sighs> Damn it. She got away again. What the heck is going on here? That girl's a thief. She sneaks into our food warehouses, trashes the place stuffing her face, and then makes off with the choicest snacks. That's, uh, what, the third time now? She's so damn fast, we can never keep up with her. A thief, huh? Isn't there some other way we can catch her? We've tried setting traps, but they never work. And we've tried tracking her, but the trail always goes cold. We figure she's hiding out somewhere in town, but we can't figure out where. If only I were back home, I'd just ask Bababa. So I'm from the town of Dafan, you know, near Haishan. Whatever mysteries turn up, we ask Bababa to solve them. She can answer anything. So she's like a seer? Yeah, something like that. Bababa would know exactly where that weasley little sneak is hiding. A Baba from the town of Define, huh?
What's happened here? Are you alright? What? Water. Water. Got it. And food. Just hold on, okay? Ah, <sighs> thank you. You saved my life. I'm just glad we came by when we did. But how in the world did you end up lying half dead in a place like this? I was on a journey and got lost in some barrows. I wandered and wandered and ended up here. Apologies for the trouble. What were you doing in those barrows to begin with? I sought to solve the mystery of a curse that is carved into my own flesh, the rune lens that exists within me. Even now, it... Uh, it... What's wrong? Uh, the rune lens! Uh, it aches! Uh, uh, what are you trying to tell me, you curse of mine? Answer me! Answer me now! Okay then. Are you certain, Runelands? You say this is my destiny? Uh, um... My name is Leon Lesud, and I am a traveling sorcerer and swordsman, or so demand the whims of fate. And now that self-same fate has guided me here. It seems the time has come for me to fulfill the role laid out before me. <laughs> Worry not, my new companions. I assure you, I am far more adept with my blade and spells than it may appear. Uh, and thank you for the bread you brought me earlier. It was delicious. Wait, back up. Are you saying you intend to join us? I already have joined you at the behest of my runelands. I am at your service, Noah. <laughs> runelands, why? Why? What is it? You want more bread?
So what happens now? Yeah. If the Alliance decides to surrender, what's it mean for us? Well, we certainly won't be going back to the Empire. Unless we want our necks stretched for desertion and treason. could always flee to some remote area, keep the resistance going from there. There's always a chance sentiment within the Empire will turn against the Dukes. The opposition movement could grow. Even if it comes to that, I'll never stop fighting. Think you could take me with you? It would be extremely dangerous. Oh, I know. But you've all fought so hard for me and my sister. And I want to return the favor. Me too. We will both fight with you. You're very brave, the both of you. You don't have to worry, Milu. It won't come to that. How do you know? Because I know him. What's to become of us, milady? There's no telling what he'll decide. Oh, please. That's the only part that's obvious. You're that certain, then? I don't bet on a losing horse, Melridge. Well said. I, for my part, believe in him too.
your majesty, what will happen to us? Something? I don't know. Whatever Commander Noah decides, I will never stop fighting to retake you, Chris, and restore his majesty to the throne. Neither will I. Thank you, but I don't think it will come to that. Curiel believes in Noah. She knows he's not so readily broken. Hmm, perhaps so. One day, she'll see that I'm not either. <laughs> Dad, I'm scared. Are we going to die? What? <laughs> We're not gonna die, baby girl. Not while I'm still hopping. <laughs> you don't believe me? We'll pack up and leave right now, yeah? Don't lie to me. Huh? Run? <sighs> Look, you're my number one. I am not letting anyone hurt you. But there are some fights you just can't run from. Collies! Hustle! Our final test be so close, I can smell it! Aye, for true. Noah proved his valor to us on the sands. He'll not make the wrong choice now. We must be ready when the order comes. We fight not just for him, but for our own future.
a poem then. Hope begins a slender flame that carried by all no tyrant can tame. So, what happens now? I'm gonna assume that's a rhetorical question. What do you mean? Far as I can tell, Noah isn't the kind of fellow to give up at a time like this. Agreed. So what happens is that we get ready for the battle ahead. This isn't over until we bury the Empire and liberate Yarnan. End of story. That's exactly right. I suppose I should worry less and prepare more. <laughs> Thanks for saving me the trouble of coming up with a pep talk.
Well, Noah, have you found your answer? I can't stop thinking about one thing. What's that? Was I the wrong person for this all along? My choices have affected so many people, and it just doesn't feel right. Cousin, come on, please! You told us you were forming a resistance army. We pledged our lives to you, remember? There ain't been a moment since that we regretted it. That's right! <laughs> Since they regretted it! Yes, sir! We made up our minds that very night! Just so happens you're a man worth risking our lives for. As are the ideals you believe in. So you can stop all this second-guessing right now. Your heart knows what is right. It always has. So trust in it. Thank you all. My feelings haven't changed since that night. I feel the same now, even as I stand here blessed with so many new friends. So thank you. I know what to do now. Good. If you're not sure of yourself, your soldiers can't fight. A leader must cling fast to their beliefs. Spectacular. I was wondering when O oh Great Captain would become O oh Nearly Excellent Captain. <laughs> Wait, I was still only great?
bad form? Nearly excellent form, I'd say. <laughs> now I've truly seen it all. If you're ready, Noah, then lead us onward. Straight and true. So, Commander, have you come to a decision? His face seems to say yes. Noah? <sighs> We're going to keep fighting. We're going to stop the Empire. If there was a way to save all of you by turning away from this, I'd do it. But the Dukes will never allow it. We know what he did to Yelu's village, and what he's beginning to do now in Haishan. He's going to end so many lives. I know what I'm asking of you won't be easy, but it won't be beyond the realm of possibility either. So I say we fight and protect as many people as we can. Now that's what I like to hear! Yes! Yes! I do like the sound of that! Let's rise up and fight again, as when we first defended Haishan. never shrink from a chance of glory. And this battle will be the most glorious of them all. Here, here. We must put a stop to Aldrich's barbaric reign. See? I knew I chose the right person. said, what we need now is a strategy, a way to win the war against the Empire. Melrich? With all respect, Commander, that is a ludicrous request. We'd be lucky to defeat the Imperial Army in a single battle, much less a war. So it's impossible? The word I used was ludicrous, not impossible. Besides, I know a worthwhile challenge when I hear it. Sounds like you have an idea. First things first, we must reinforce our army by gathering as many of the scattered Eucrisian and Noristari troops as possible. In addition, there is another small military force to whom we might appeal for help. Ah, I knew I was asked here for a reason. Something tells me you've had this ludicrous plan in your back pocket all along. Guilty is charged. Can we count on the second son of the Fawad clan? Well, I'm 
none too keen on looking my brother in the eye again, but I guess it's time to swallow my pride. The elves are likely to be drawn into this conflict sooner or later anyway. Oh, are we? Relax, Lilowin. I'm not gonna punch him in the face this time. That's not what I... <sighs> So there you have it. Good Alway here will be our emissary to the elves. Appreciate it. No problem. I'll figure things out somehow. Permit me to gather the Eucrisian troops. And the Guardians will get our butts in gear and track down what's left of the Norse stories. Commander Noah, now would be a good time for you to seek out new allies as well. We must act before the Empire makes their next move. Now let's get to work and win this war. Oh, we're going to win, all right. No matter what. Indeed. More allies are exactly what we need to stand up to the Empire. It's the only way we'll be able to stand against the Empire. <laughs>